the Scale Up Valley podcast, where we bring the best of the best to help you scale your business from 1 million to 1 trillion. Today, we have a very special guest. His name is Tony Perez, the co-founder and CRO, Chief Revenue Officer at Bluebird, and also the co-founder of SaaS Institute. Tony, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me, Mike. It's a pleasure. We have been planning to have you on the show for a very long time. And yeah. finally, we made it at, at the yeah. end of a very interesting year uh, for, for all of us. So, and I'm sure that everyone that is listening to you uh, will, will enjoy a lot your career and, and the lessons that you will share uh, with us. Thank and you. I'm sure that uh, we had a lot of conversations, but I, 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 I'm sure that I will still learn a lot of new points during this, uh, this conversation. So let's get to know more about you. So who is Tony Perez? Okay. Uh, okay, my background uh, is, is technical. I am computer engineering and I started computer engineering. And after that, I, I did a, a, a MBA. Uh, uh, I, I it recently, or at least the, the, the experience that I would say that is more relevant no? uh, for, for the audience is that I was the marketing director for Usism. So it's a company that uh, grew quite, uh, quite fast, especially in the, in the US. Uh, then I moved to, to Red Points. Uh, there I started when the company was something like 20 people and we we grew, we grew quite fast too, no? In one year and a half, maybe eighteen months, uh, yeah, a little bit more. Uh, uh, we we moved to to from twenty to, I would say one hundred and twenty. So this was a crazy oh, journey. Yeah. No? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. There I, I was the, the the CMO and the VP of product, uh, uh, and. And, and there is where I, uh, in uses them too, no? But uh, and I, 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 I would say that uh, I developed my passion, that is, uh, that is how to connect uh, marketing with sales and, and, and how to do it through something that we call nowadays, no? Sales development, no? And I think that this is, this is, the, this is the passion that I have, no? It's like, okay, how can I generate more meetings with the right uh, person from the right company for my for my sales team no? this is this is my passion this is where i have been like and, the, and this is the result uh, uh this is or at least the, this is where i am right now no bluebirds is, is is the precisely about that no it's about helping companies to generate more meetings no for the for the for the sales team Sounds, sounds amazing. We, we might want to talk <laughs> about it. Have a, an interesting portfolio of, of companies that uh, is, is trying to crack exactly the the same the same problem. Yeah, because everything everyone feels quite powerful when when they have the right person, no, from the right company, no, because they, they feel the passion about the product. They know the the problem that they they solve. So uh, I think that people usually kind of uh, do a, a good job no selling but but uh, what is what is really hard i think that for a lot of founders no is how can i make uh, the dream of having my sales team or me myself no at the very beginning constantly having meetings no with the right person uh, mm -hmm. from the right company this is a huge challenge no because this means translating the market which is something that sounds uh, not very specific no into into something very concrete Right, there is a meeting, no? and and how 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 to make this happen? Uh, I think that is a challenge. No? Everybody talks about sales, everybody talks about marketing, but for me, eh, and based in my experience in Userzoom and and Red Points, the the the, the growth engine uh, for the for the for both companies eh, has been to master the process of translating the market into meetings. Now, in the market, I don't mean uh, leads. Eh? I mean the market, no? Sometimes inbound leads, but sometimes outbound leads, no? So it's a very a huge challenge, I think. Love it. And, and give more, a little bit more, if you if you can provide a little bit more context about, so user zoom was from how much to, from, kind of from 1 million to 10 million, 20 million, 50 million. Uh, at red points, I, I believe that you have been there until 10 million era or so. Um, so, where lies your your strength and your experience? It's, it's typically no, as as you said, pretty much the same. No, I mean my 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 experience or 
or at least where I think that I can uh, add more value is 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 let me say uh, 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 creating uh, the first or second let's say a go to market uh, team no uh, but ready uh, to to grow I would say even to scale no so the, there is uh, there is uh, signals of product market fit. No? And, and okay, how I can make this grow? No? How can I translate these uh, uh, conversations that I'm having with the market no? based on uh, mostly referrals no? and, and from customers or from, how can I make this grow no? in, a, in, a, in a systematic way? How can I, how can I translate, uh, how can I create a growth engine, I would say, no? Uh, and this means uh, uh, several things, no? Uh, uh, it's not only about having the, the, the people and doing the math, no? In order to, to calculate, no? Uh, uh, the, 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 the amount of people you need to have in, in, in every position, but most importantly is to land uh, the go-to-market strategy into something that, every new hire can understand deeply, you know? so they can be uh, experts uh, in no more than one month. And this is, this is uh, 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 one of the challenges that uh, you need to master you know, when you want to uh, uh, generate opportunities uh, consistently. You know? uh, the strategy is something that sometimes is in a PowerPoint, Sometimes it's in a in a word, no. So so the, the the kind of format is not very concrete or specific, no. And and I think that uh, being able to translate that into let me say a spreadsheet, no. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about numbers. I'm talking about uh, uh, really a clear structure of mm-hmm. what I need to do in order to transform again eh, something that we call market. Into, into something super specific like a meeting. No? Uh, so what are the variables that I need to, to, to fill out with information? So my team, when they, when they come, no? they really uh, understand what is the mission, what is everything about, and what I need to do when and how, no? which is uh, really important. Love it. And uh, where is Blueboards at, uh, at the moment? And what are the, the upcoming challenges to, um, to Blueboards? Well, Blueboards, uh, we are right now, I think, around 40 people. Uh, um, uh, we started uh, selling, I think, one year and a half ago, uh, more or less. Uh, we have uh, grown uh, nicely, uh, specifically, uh, I mean, taking into account the, 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 the moments that, that we are going through now has been quite challenging no? to, to, to go through all of this uh, uncertainty. No? But, but I think that, uh, uh, yeah, we are, we are um, doing okay. I would say uh, uh, I am quite ambitious, no, in, in the good way, no, and I always want more. So this is why I am not like saying uh, we are crushing it because it's not my my I would say my style. But 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 we are doing okay. I I, I would like to 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 do it better. Uh, we are we are on the on the right path, uh, and I think that uh, uh, because because in the end, my 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 vision, no, or the vision of the company is is really to transform an industry, and this is challenging, no, and. and uh, sometimes too challenging, no. Uh, uh, and but we are we are doing, I think, the right the right things. This is something really important to again repeat again and again and again, which is this is the Olympic Games of business, right? And uh, I agree. very few are able to to make it, and um, and. And I think what is beautiful for the ones who are in this industry uh, and the teams who are in this industry that I believe it's it's all about the team is that we are not naive in in the in the bad sense but in the good sense so we know how difficult it is what we are trying to achieve but still we choose to make it happen because to try to make it happen because we believe that the impact of that will be amazing in, in humanity and that's what that's why we have that culture and why we follow so much culture, the, the of vision, purpose, mission. 
But sometimes it seems that uh, the industry is seen as the crazy guys. Uh, yes, we are crazy, but at the same time, we are aware of the odds that we have in that craziness. <laughs> I try not to think too much about that, but anyway, yes, we are, <laughs> especially at night. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's really a, a great point to, to remind us because also we can be uh, very aggressive, very vicious and very self-demanding of ourselves, especially in times like the ones we are living today. Uh, we can forget to be kind um, to our teams and totally. to ourselves. And it, it's very easy to... Um, and I think that that's the beautiful and what you just said, right? It's, it's as a leader, we need to be able to simplify to tell a story, to tell a narrative, to understand what the customer needs I agree. and to translate it into numbers and very easy, in the very easy way that anyone can understand and start delivering in less than uh, four weeks. I, I love it the way you articulated it so, so simply. So we always discuss free critical ingredients to scale, radical focus, world-class leadership slash team slash culture. I keep adding <laughs> things to this second ingredient and number three, a uh, culture of execution. So starting with, with number one, uh, radical focus, the ones who have been following the podcast for the 160 plus episodes uh, know that I'm completely obsessed about this one. Uh, we need to be able to transform complexity into simplicity and scale is all about doubling down and saying no to things. But I had uh, some guests who challenged me there and ex explained to me the exploring, exploit uh, mindset. So we still need to explore and, and, and start, kick off some, some new ideas that are in product market fit as we scale the ones that are already proven and we double down on, on those. So how can, how can we balance this, right? So how can we assure that we maximize our odds to go from one to five million or from five to 10 million ARR, let's say from series A to series B, from series B to series C, and at the same time, understand that we need to, to be working already in the next one or two years, if not, it's too late. And it might not be the same engine that got us here that will get us there. So you are the expert here, but I just send you. Uh, 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 I just send you a, a lot <laughs> into your direction. But what are your thoughts about all this complexity that I just shared with you? <laughs> no, uh, 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 it's a very interesting point, uh, actually. No, because uh, uh, in the end, this is this is this is uh, the way I think. Eh? Uh, a company can scale, no? nailing down uh, niche after niche. No? Uh, 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 and, 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 and for me, the, the, the way to do it, and you said uh, so uh, before, no? is to simplify uh, uh, as much as you can uh, the, the go-to-market strategy and make it actionable. No? So for me, it's one team radical focus, as you said, executing the sales development playbook, let's say, so which is the target market, no? vertical, country, company size. No? For each company, which are the different scenarios or situations we are going to find regarding the problem we solve, which are the different buyer personas per scenario for each combination of these elements, no? which is the pain that we solve. And for each pain, which is the value prop, which is not the product, no? it's the vision of how we solve, how we have landed that value prop into a product, right? Uh, and which is the pricing of that product. This is a, this is the strategy, right? Uh, uh, this uh, for the team that is executing uh, uh, the go-to-market strategy of the uh, uh, for the results that we need to get now, right? This should be very systematic, right? This should be. I would say uh, uh, very precise, no. Uh, and, and 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 this is one team that I think that uh, uh, must be again eh, focused on on this. Then I think that the only way to open new markets is to create a a, a new team, no, completely different. Uh, because the metrics are going to be completely different, right? It's not maybe about generating opportunities; it's about generating 
discovery meetings. No, the metrics are completely different. The conversion rates are being completely different because maybe you are not looking for a, a, a high performance, but uh, learning, right? Learnings, no. Uh, because in the end, you you in in that other in that other team, you you are more uh, uh, a Viking than a ninja. No, a ninja is something that just someone that has a plan, no, and, and, and executes perfectly, right, super smoothly, right. Everyone does do the, the 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 thing that they need to do. Here is more Vikings. No, is is finding new settlements. No, is more savage. Uh, uh, you need to you need to. To learn meanwhile you are fighting no? and, and 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 like every single step is a new is a new learning is exciting no uh, uh in the other one is more execution is more precision is is more like uh, uh something that you need to really master in terms of processes and so i think that the only way to to to, to keep that these two uh, 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 challenges is to split the team is the only way I think that uh, 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 when you put someone to do two things, in the end, the the one who is going to decide is the person, right? He's going to do what he feels that he can do better, what he thinks that is going to produce better results. Uh, but maybe it's not what uh, the company wants from him, right? Uh, uh, when you are a Viking, is everything is much more like dirty and bloody, right? <laughs> when you when you are a ninja, everything is much more like orchestrated and smooth. No? So you, even different profiles, right? Love it. And and what I what I start seeing sometimes, and especially when we are opening new geographies or new verticals, um, it is really explaining to leaders that. You might have a kind of a scale up in a in a vertical or in a niche or in a geography, and you you will have a startup, which are your kind of backing back analogy, in in the new geo in the new vertical that you are exploring. It's, you are still finding product market fit in that combination of geo vertical and size of, um, of exactly. Product. If you think about it, no. Uh, uh, a go-to-market strategy landed into a playbook can be an hypothesis or can be something to just execute. Not always you are going to learn, always you are going to fine tune. But in the end, in the end, in the, in, the, in, the, in, in our world, we are usually 80% working with uh, hypotheses in the end no? that you need to validate. No? And, and I think that that this is one of the one of the things that for me again. Eh, eh, uh, sales development is the tool, no? Because it's actually the only thing that is talking proactively to the market, right? Sales guys are showing products to people that has been already convinced that it's worth to spend maybe 30 minutes with us, right? But what about the people I would like to meet and they are not uh, uh, coming? Why? I mean, is there any trend that I don't know? Is there any competitor out there that are uh, doing something different is is why uh, and and I think that in the end people tends to focus too much on positive results because confirms eh, the the hypothesis no, of your go to market strategy but in the end where you can find gold is negative results why not people that should be meeting with us are not actually meeting with us it's because we are not being relevant is because they don't feel the pain no? or, or they don't see in us a solution Right? What is the what is the and this is something that you can through sales development, if you have the right uh, tools no, uh, to enable your team, is something that you can validate in a weekly basis. Hey, if your sales cycle is I don't know six months, I mean you better don't wait six months to see if your go-to-market strategy uh, works. Eh? Uh, in the end, finding the right companies, finding the right people within the company, uh, uh, guessing the scenarios. No? So the pains and pitching the value prop, which is 70% of your go-to-market strategy, can be executed uh, by the sales development team. In the end, it's executed by the sales development team no? and in a quite high volume. So uh, you can apply statistics, right? Uh, only if everybody is doing the same thing. If not, uh, you shouldn't be adding no? those series of results and and, and activities, no, because they are going to belong to different numerical series, and you shouldn't uh, manage them uh, together, right? 
uh, because because uh, let's say you have uh, instead of ninjas you have free riders, uh, freestylers. No, that is uh, something that you can, uh, is not orchestrated. No, it's not. Uh, and and this is why I think that uh, is super important. Eh? Is 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 the is the way to uh, measure uh, the go to market strategy seventy uh, percent. Uh, uh, the 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 rest uh, and, and and you know what the the rest is is something that is not very actionable by sales. Eh? Uh, uh, sales is about product market fit. Uh, uh, sales development no. Eh? Sales development is about market persona pains and value prop. Uh, uh, this is something that you can tweak and manage. Product market fit is different. No, is uh, the market is there. You can't action action them, mm -hmm. uh, 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 and the product is what it is, right? So if there is good product market fit, you will sell. If there is and do if you do your thing, no. If there is no good product market fit, you are not going to sell. But sales is it, not. Uh, I mean, you can't optimize uh, sales uh, to get more than, I don't know, 20% of conversion rate, right? It's, it, or at least if you want a double number of sales, what are you going to do? Uh, try to double the conversion rate or double the number of opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. So where is the growth uh, in, uh, metric here, which is the metric that you can really manage in order to scale number of opportunities, number of meetings, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that... Uh, uh, People are usually talking too much about sales. Uh, I understand, no, uh, because it's what you have uh, closer to the deal, no, and it's, it's. But in the end, I think that the 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 magic here happens when you master sales development. Eh? I love it, since uh, you, you just kind of highlighted the importance of having this predictable uh, revenue engine, uh, which might need to be. Repeatable, that's what you are highlighting, right? Also profitable, the unit economics need to make sense and, and scalable. Um, we need to be able to teach people how to do it uh, and need to keep retaining them and increasing or improving their, their results as, as we move uh, as we move forward. Uh, you also added something really important. So you are the chief revenue officer of, um, of Bluebirds. And um, from my experience as well, working with, uh, with different scale-ups in, in different stages of growth, uh, a lot of times from the one to five, five to 10, and, and from the, time, the 10 to 20, um, the revenue engine is, is critical and having the right people on the right seats, on the revenue seats, it's, it, it's, it's mind blowing. And, um, and after having the right people on the right seats, we need to be able to have a world-class team. So uh, I think that's that's really the difficult part. Sometimes we focus too much on having the right person in sales, the right person in CS, the right person in product uh, and in marketing, but we forget that they need to be a team and they need to be a revenue team. And that's why we see the emergence of the chief revenue officer as the one who orchestrates the, the engine, instead of trying to uh, orchestrate a sales engine, a marketing engine, the CS engine, and uh, the product engine, and, and each of them are working on, on their silos, and they are not communicating, and they are not owning the problem as a revenue problem, but as a trying to blame each other about who, who has the problem, <laughs> and why the hell are, are, are not our revenue doubling or tripling uh, as we... Uh, as we aim it uh, and as we, totally. as we in, in complex systems, uh, local optimizations usually are against the global optimization. Uh, Interesting. Didn't know that. Okay. Could you repeat that for, for, for the one so uh, in, 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 in my opinion, in, in complex systems, no. Uh, no so taking into account that a system is something that has an input. Uh, acts always in the same way, no, and, and generates an output. For me, when you uh, uh, try to optimize only one thing, no, or, or a little, bit, and you don't take into account the global system, usually uh, uh, you 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 make the system uh, uh, worse. Because in the end, what is important is the global optimization. Is that everything is aligned. And alignment, I think that is the, the key element uh, uh, here. Uh, 
when it comes to to really uh, uh, have uh, 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 something uh, that can be optimized. Uh, if you are not aligned, uh, even though that maybe this works really well, uh, what this is producing is going here, right? And, and in the end, it's not about making everything perfect. It's about making everyone align it. No? Uh, uh, and and I think that the glue for this uh, uh, for this uh, to happen, uh, taking into account that uh, it's a complex system, but because there is uh, people behind the system, right? It's not a <laughs> machine, right? Uh, the the only the the perfect glue uh, uh, is a culture. Is a company culture. Uh, it's something that me in my, in the past day, eh, because of my technical background, I, I I didn't I didn't think about it in that way. Never. Eh? I thought that everything was about doing things properly, right? It was about input output. No, no, no. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not that. Uh, uh, again, eh, you, when you when you have a go to market strategy. Usually, it's an hypothesis. Uh, there are different sub engines when you open no, the box and 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 you do a zoom in. No, you see different uh, micro engines uh, that must be connected again. If uh, uh, and 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 the only the only the only connection uh, or the only tool that I think that can uh, make that connection happen is a, is the culture, a culture of 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 uh, I don't know transparency, uh, honesty. Uh, uh, willing to discuss uh, your, your your results without feeling that this is uh, about you. Uh, so hard with a problem, sweet with people. No, I think that and, and this is I don't know. You might have you have more experience than me, no, with 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 this, no, uh, because in the end. Uh, but I think that uh, uh, culture is uh, is the thing. Mm -hmm. I I totally believe, and I and I really enjoyed you being so humble and and uh, admitting that. But uh, I, even myself, sometimes I I, I forget that, <laughs> and uh, I need to repeat that also to to the CEOs and leadership teams that I work with uh, because sometimes it, it's. It's, it, it's sexy to say that culture matters to all of us, right? And that we want to change the world. But then we might not believe fully inside of us that it really yeah. changes all results. But it, that's really true. So you can that's have really the best individuals, and we, we see that in sports, right? We can have the best players in the world in a team, and, and they don't play as a team. And nothing happens. <laughs> and we saw it in, in different football clubs uh, around the world in different moments of history. Uh, it, it is happening. And I think that's, that's really an art, right? So there is something that Tony Robbins talks about, which is the science of achievement and the art of fulfillment, right? So I think that's what we have been discussing in a component, which, is, uh, which I like a lot, is, is really the science of achievement. So in order to create the engine, you need to make uh, uh, the machine work in ear, ear, ear. You need to build these engines, et cetera, et cetera. You need to have the team, the right people on, on those spots. But then there, there is a component of art. So you need to find the people who believe in the mission, in the vision, who share the values. Uh, and this is the glue, as you said, that will really keep us engaged in that totally. loop. So and, uh, and, and and this is a constant work. It's not something that is in the wall. Uh, I I don't have in Bluebird uh, any value uh, in 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 our walls. I, I it's not because I don't believe in it. It's because we haven't uh, done it. I think yet. But uh, what I was what I was gonna say, say is that. Uh, you need to really. Uh, I mean. Uh, believe in them and, and, and make them uh, real uh, every single uh, uh, day with every single interaction because this is a human part uh, of the of a, of a company right which is uh, why we are here you know, uh, spending eight hours uh, it's not about the final result for me it's about the journey uh, I think that uh, uh, if you don't enjoy uh, doing what you are doing, uh, you better change uh, because there are uh, 
other places and 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 this is quite uh, uh connected not with your activity usually but with with the with the culture of the company you know and 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 in in the end uh for me eh, the final goal of 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 personally eh, of 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 any 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 company that I've been working for is to really enjoy the the, the journey, no? Because in the end, the odds, as you said, are always against us, right? <laughs> so uh, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't bet uh, my 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 happiness, no, for for a result that maybe it's not going to happen. Uh, I think that uh, this is. I mean, I understand that there are people that can do that, no? but it's not my my goal. And and and. And, and again, uh, uh, this in the end is about uh, a lot of these uh, feelings can be translated into into the into something that we call culture. No, oh, absolutely, and I think that you summarized it very well. So to be art, so when when we can get to that level of um, of maturity in our culture, where we are able to be art with the problem and kind with people and don't want to be the one who is right, but just find out what is the best for the team as quickly as possible. Wh whoever discovers that, we feel the same kind of joy and excitement. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, uh, and it doesn't matter if I'm right and you are wrong or, or vice versa. The important is that we find the solution together and we are closer to, to the main... <laughs> To the main yeah, and this is something that must be trained, eh? Because because in my case, no, when I when I was young, uh, quite a lot of time ago. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, no, I, I, I don't believe. <laughs> no, I can tell you. Uh, 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 it was hard to me eh, to 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 accept that I was not right. Uh, I was technical. I I was very uh, detail oriented. I, I, I and I and I thought that I I had uh, uh, my 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 true. No, let's say. Uh, but when you when you start training uh, that approach of of listening to others deeply, yeah, uh, uh, and 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 you are willing to 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 accept uh, that maybe you are not right. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, people are more uh, uh, open to help you. Uh, and it doesn't uh, matter if you are right or wrong. No, 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 no. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I think that it 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 it, it is something that is related to self confidence. No, sometimes you need to to feel uh, uh, strong by 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 having the reason always. No, and 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 when you find out that in the end, what is going to make you strong is to do the right things. No, uh, whatever. Uh, uh, they come from you or from from others, no. Uh, but you can uh, really articulate uh, uh, the solution with your team and make that thing happen. I think that uh, then you 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 get like somehow like uh, free, no, from from this thing about uh, being always constantly to uh, fight for the reason. I, I think that it doesn't matter, no. Uh, but it's not. It's, uh, what I want to say is that. Uh, uh, in my case, it has been more about uh, regarding about the time, no, and experience rather than uh, personal attitude. No, I think that uh, the human beings you usually we come with several uh, features, no, uh, <laughs> that can be improved, and I think that this is this is this is one. And, and there is hope that that we will keep improving. <laughs> and uh, so let's move into the culture of execution. So we kind of discussed it, uh, the importance of focus, the importance of repetition, and we also discussed the importance of having the right people on the right seats and making them a team and helping them in the process of becoming a team and becoming more team and culture is a glue. And now it's really about the kind of the rhythms or the rituals of the champions, right? The rituals of the team. So what, what are some of the best rhythms for you that help you uh, to assure that everyone is on the same page and, and progressing as fast as possible? Okay, so uh, uh, for 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 companies like like ours, no, I think that is important to 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 detect and reward excellence. What I what I mean about that is not about 
competing, who is the best, who is the worst. No, no, it's that companies like us, uh, we need to do incredible things no? in order to move forward because it's very difficult, eh? for example, in our case, to transform a industry. No? Uh, I mean, you need to really uh, do exceptional things no? and, and to find and reward those exceptional things and those people that are executing because sometimes it's one, sometimes it's the other, no? sometimes it's a, it's a finding, sometimes it's maybe uh, someone who has crushed uh, uh, the targets because he has found out something that is working better. No? So I think that this idea of, of rewarding excellence uh, and it makes people to, to, to first uh, be more, um, I would say, uh, yeah, uh, uh, risky and and, uh, uh, and 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 because there is something that they can uh, really like uh, uh, change, no, in in the in in a, in the in the in a daily basis. And I think that this is this is part of our ritual. No, it's it's, it's not about uh, competing purely for competing. It's about doing excellent changes. And for example, I am. Uh, or I like to 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 copy from the best, no? And I think that now the bests on on this type of things are in in the in the games industry, right? Which is uh, sure. challenges, achievements, not these concepts, no? It's like, hey, let's define some challenges, let's define some uh, achievements, no? A challenge is something that is difficult but can be done, right? Uh, mm -hmm. An achievement is uh, uh, something extraordinary, right? Something that makes you move forward, right? Uh, and I think that to define these things, people get uh, uh, motivated because of uh, of these uh, things, right? And I think that, uh, especially in revenue, this this is something that you can use in order to push your team uh, forward, no? To define these things that you think that are exceptional and reward uh, people for that because they are the ones in the end, no? That are gonna make you move forward, no? I've heard a very good expression about the defining the moonshots and the roof shots. So, <laughs> so it's, it's kind of uh, the the same. So we are getting to the end of the show, and uh, I feel that we are just starting the conversation. So I would go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it would be nice for, yeah. for that hour at least. But uh, is there anything that I should have asked you that I didn't ask, or any topic that we should have covered? that we didn't cover. No, no, not at all. I mean, just the conversation, uh, natural and, and I mean, it's, it's what is, uh, I think that for me is what it makes more sense when it comes to what this conversation is not about. I mean, there is a lot of uh, books out there that explain things much better than me, uh, uh, totally. Uh, I think that 90% uh, uh, of the things that I am doing are things that I've learned from others, right? Uh, and those others uh, have uh, books and stuff. I think that what makes a uh, difference when when it comes to 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 to, to this type of things is to is to talk uh, from 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 the heart, no? And in, in, in terms of of the experience and and the and the things that uh, uh, real no? real things, not technical only, but the human things. So here it goes another question to the art, which is our favorite one to to close the show, which is if you would have the opportunity to meet Tony. Uh, several years ago, and you can decide at the beginning of user Zoom, what you, would you tell to your younger self? What advice would you offer to that Tony at that time if you could have a chat with him or a coffee with him? Just for the ones who are listening in the podcast, Tony is thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, uh. I think uh, uh, be be more confident. Mm -hmm. uh, have uh, 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 changing things and doing new things for me has been always uh, uh, in the past eh? uh, something hard. Uh, 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 I don't know. I come from a generation that uh, it was supposed that I gonna I was gonna have a a job for my whole life. No, when you have. I don't know, 25 years, they, they give you a watch and something like that, no? Changing, for example, uh, from, from one uh, company to another has been a huge thing for me, a huge one. Uh, but in the end, has been 
uh, the moments where I've learned the more, no? So have less fear uh, of, 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 of doing new things. No? Uh, maybe because my education or maybe because, I don't know, but I have, uh, I think that I, uh, I've been sometimes too paralyzed uh, uh, because of, of fear, I would say. Uh, 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 now I can tell you, Mike, that is the contrary. <laughs> I, I need to have, I need, you, I need to you embrace. <laughs> I embraced too much. Uh, 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 and now I need to find a balance. <laughs> Got it. That's a good point. Tony, uh, thank you so much for making the time and for sharing your story with us. We really appreciate your time and, and your lessons. No, thank you, Mike, for your nice uh, uh, invitation and for the conversation. Super nice. Likewise, and to our listeners, to our community that are fighting to change the world, we keep here bringing you the best of the best. So you are in much better position to scale our business from 1 million to 1 trillion. See you soon and keep scaling.